Today we'll be checking this out and this. It has been 30 days since I started my experiment on the supplement that everybody is talking about, berberine. I initially got into it because I am super concerned about my blood pressure. I've brought it down a bunch from walking every day, doing my 10,000 steps, which I think has made a massive improvement to my overall health. But I get caught up like everybody else. If something's all over the internet, I want to give it a try. As I've mentioned, everybody who takes berberine for weight loss or sugar control tends to also incorporate that with reducing calories and exercise. I actually really wanted to know if this actually did change your body at a cellular level and could make the changes that we all hope it can make. I'm from Generation X, so we have been brought up on diet culture. We know every single little crazy thing, every fad that there has ever been. We've known about it, we've tried it. We had the low fat diet, the Atkins diet, the grapefruit diet, the South Beach diet, the cabbage soup diet, the zone diet. But doesn't stop us from being curious about anything new that comes out. My theory was that if you actually cut calories and start increasing your exercise, you're going to lose weight. Your results for things like sugar and cholesterol and blood pressure are obviously going to change with any good lifestyle changes. I pretty much already do most of the things that I should. I do quite a few things that I shouldn't. We all know that we have those days, don't we? The ones where you wake up in the morning and you do everything right and you are convinced that you're going to be perfect this week because you want to extend your life. And then there's the days that you wake up and you say, you know what? I'm not living forever. You only live once. I'm having that treat. I'm kind of that in between kind of girl. <laughs> so I just wanted to try to see if this would actually work without having to like extremely change anything. Because if we're gonna spend money, we want to know that something's actually gonna be a benefit. So if this is gonna be a benefit, then the only way I could see to really test it was to actually not change my diet and exercise any different from what I ever do and see what happens. So with berberine actually promising to be able to do so many things, everything from reducing your blood sugar, insulin levels, cholesterol levels, blood pressure, <laughs> anti-aging, joint pain, premenopause symptoms, issues with hormones and with PCOS, it's incredible and definitely worth a try. Obviously, any kind of supplement can change how medication works, so always check with your doctor, especially if you're on medication. If you've had low blood pressure or low blood sugar in the past, also be careful, because this may affect you in a way that makes you feel not well. If you haven't seen any of my earlier videos, I'll just give you a quick rundown. In the first week, I definitely noticed a massive difference in bloating. I noticed that I wasn't getting as hungry, that I couldn't finish meals most of the time. I'm not a big eater, but I think that I could definitely tell the difference. It also reduced sugar cravings. Again, it's not something I have a mass thing with, but you know what? There's days when I want sugar. <laughs> Most people tend to take like 500 milligrams three times a day, which is probably what you should do if your main goal is blood sugar and insulin resistance. However, I'm actually using this brand and it's a once a day capsule, which is good for me because, you know, after about a week, my doing something three times a day usually doesn't last. I also liked it because it has so many other herbs in here that actually have the same purpose in order to reduce cholesterol and blood sugar, etc., etc. It's also been said that using things like black pepper and cinnamon help the absorption and the benefits of berberine. So you know what, I thought this is great. There's so many things in one. So the first two weeks had nothing. At week three, again, I had not changed my diet and exercise at all. If anything, I'd been pretty bad that week. I'd had one of my worst weeks of being slack with exercise. I went to a festival and ate things I shouldn't. And I also went to Yochi. Oh my gosh, that yoga place is sublime. But I kind of probably blew my calories out a fair bit that week. 
But the amazing thing was, at the end of the week I jumped on the scale, I had lost over half a kilo. That's about 1.2 pounds, which I thought was amazing for no effort. And yes, you say I want my cake and eat it too, but as I said, this is an experiment. I don't want you spending money that you don't need to. So where am I at four weeks in? Well, I was actually very shocked because weight loss wasn't my main thing, but who doesn't want to know if that works? Week four, another half a kilo. So that's pretty amazing that I lost a kilo in two weeks without changing my diet or my exercise and was actually mm, somewhat a bit naughty. There I am being an almond mum, which we can't help being Gen X girls, right? <laughs> we all know a moment on the lips, lifetime on the hips. Yes, we all grew up with that, so we know. <laughs> Other interesting things that I have found since starting on berberine, I am a chronic insomniac. I mean, I have not slept eight hours in 40 years. <laughs> I have actually found it is helping me slightly link my sleep a little bit longer. I sometimes used to fall asleep for like six minutes and I was wide awake again. I have actually in the last couple of weeks linked two hours, which is huge for me. I have also found that it is helping with my skin. I don't know if it's premenopause, the doctor said it could be rosacea, but I do get these ridiculous hot flushes sometimes that just burn my face, leave it dry and rashed up the next day. It is awful. I have noticed since been on berberine, that has almost stopped. I've had a couple of small episodes in the last month, but they've been hardly anything compared to what I normally get. Normally I am smothering my face in aloe vera gel, which absolutely is one of my favorite things on the planet for skincare. That's another story for another day. I know it's hard to explain, but I actually feel like I'm less bloated in the face, less bloated in the lower stomach. Overall, I feel good being on this product and I know I'm only four weeks in, so I'm yet to do blood sugar or blood pressure tests yet, but that's something for another day. Having tried a thousand different things in my life for health and well-being, I'm actually quite excited about this one and interested to see what happens over the next two to three months. We know that it can take up to three months to make any major change, but I think, you know, within four weeks, I've definitely seen some positives. Along with dropping a kilo in two weeks doing the changes, I also thought I would mention that I've had a slight change in measurements, not much to mention, but probably about a centimetre off my waist and about one and a half centimetres off my hips. Again, with no change in diet or exercise. So I'll be interested again to see what happens to say in another month with that. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm not an expert, but I don't mind being a guinea pig. If you are keen to follow my journey and see how things progress over the next couple of months, definitely subscribe to this channel. I'll be looking at this and so many other things. You know, like now that I'm in that bracket, <laughs> I wanna look at things, grow my hair and improve my skin, but that's all for another day. See you in the next video.